Jurassic Park has gone down in history as one of the greats. However, there is an important message behind the film. Don't bring back something from the past as it usually has bad consequences. It seems that some scientists have taken inspiration from the film, as they have proven that some of the physical characteristics of dinosaurs can be copied into chickens. It's said that chickens are the descendants of dinosaurs, and the only group that managed to survive the extinction. The idea that birds, including chickens, evolved from dinosaurs isn't something that's new. This theory has been around since the 19th century. This was when scientists found the fossils of a bird with the name Archaeopteryx. The bird had feathers and wings but it had the features of a dinosaur, and some fossils found more recently suggest it looks similar to a chicken. Archaeopteryx came to light in the 1860s, and has caused quite a stir in the scientific community. Though the animal had several unbird-like features such as teeth, clawed fingers and a long bony tail, some well-preserved skeletons were surrounded by a feathery coat. At the time, this would change everything. However, since that time, numerous feathered dinosaurs have been unearthed. Biologists wanted to find out how many birds came to have beaks, as it's believed they had snouts back in the dinosaur age. The scientists managed to isolate clusters of genes that are related to facial development, and came across a way of stopping them in chicken embryos. The resulting embryos looked very much like the Velociraptor, one of the most famous dinosaurs to date. The lead author of the study, Bart Anjabula from Yale University said the following, We had not set out to create a dinosaur chicken. When examining an important evolutionary transformation, we wanted to find out by the underlying process. The beak is the part of the avian skeleton that most extensively and radically diversified. We wanted to find out if the beak was functional. The scientists wanted to highlight the fact that beaks develop in a much different way to snails. This is because they use a different set of genes. This proves the beak is an adaption, as opposed to being a nose shape that is slightly different. Michael Benton from the Bristol University in the UK said the following, I believe the move from snout to beak occurred around 40 to 50 million years after the Archaeopteryx. So what do you guys make of this? Do you think scientists should bring back the dinosaurs? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.